this is a quick update for a few different groups that have been following some of the builds that I've been working on. This is the LR3, the Lowrider 3 from V1 Engineering. And we've done our own little modifications on here and some changes that are not in the original plans. But a few folks have been interested in some of these extra things that we've done on here. As far as the latest update, it's the drag chain for our X axis. The LR3, it's a really wonderful design by Ryan, and the original design comes with all of the controls being built into the gantry. And for this build, we've changed it up a little bit and went a little bit more old school with some parts that we had laying around. So as per some of the other videos, we're just running mock on here on a 15, 16 year old laptop and a controller from an old 6040 CNC that we've sort of repurposed and reprogrammed for this machine. Some of the changes that we had to do to operate this LR3 using a three drive CNC controller board is we had to double up some of our stepper motors. So for the Y axis, the long axis here, we've got two steppers, one on each side, running along these belts, going into the controller that was really just designed to run one stepper at a time. So we've got our Y's doubled up and we've got our Z's doubled up. So our Z axis to raise and lower the gantry. We've got two of these steppers here and we've got those going into the one driver on our controller board also. And as can be seen on our sacrificial spoil board here, we've got some boat panels that I was cutting out and working on a few different designs with that. I've made some templates here for a friend that's doing some lettering on an electric boat. And this is kind of the dig in for our templates there. But to show the chain drive for X axis here, go ahead and use our pendant. And then for this, we've got this set up so forwards and back is our X, and left and right here is our Y. So, so our drag chain action. To make this work, we had to design and print a few 3D printed pieces here. So this extension right here used some of the holes that were in the core piece here for zip ties to hold down some different wires. But we just designed this up in Design Spark Mechanical, which is a really awesome 3D program. Their entry level program I think is called Creator, and I believe that's free. The next step up or the next option up costs a little bit, but it's not much. And it works really well for making 3D 3D pieces. So we designed this, printed this, this mounts to here, and then for the back side here, we had to write up or make up a whole bunch of different odds and ends here to hold this drag chain scrap that I had laying around. Almost looks like a camshaft journal with all those parts under there, but it works. So again, here's our Drag chain. And to raise the gantry up and down, we just hold this in here like this. The light slips or it drops down. And then we can raise and lower our gantry there. I 3D printed also these little spacers here because when I cut power to the whole machine, the steppers kind of settle, so this just keeps this raised up. The dust collection system is as simple as it looks. Got a small shop vac tucked around on the floor behind it and just some Harbor Freight parts. This is a vacuum hose from an old Dyson that stopped working, so we threw away the vacuum and held on to a few of the parts there, and actually that fit well into the snout on top of that bower cyclone part there. Fun stuff. Got a bunch of projects lined up. Some boat stuff and some other odds and ends to get working on with this machine. And again the resolution has been pretty good.
Oh, that's right, we're on our X. So we hold this button down, goes back to our And need to tighten up the arrangement for our router power cable there too. So a work in progress, but this video is just sort of an update for some folks that are following the progress of the build. Thanks very much for taking a look. Mm -hmm.